Hello, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. Today's episode of the show is brought to us by Greenhouse Garden Center. Greenhouse Garden Center is located on South Curry Street in Carson City and offers a variety of landscaping, soil services, and also all the plants you could want for your home or business garden. Check them out online at greenhousegardencenter.com. Today, we have two very special guests on our show, Andy Wilkerson and Adri Shehorn. They are joining us today from Youth Theater Carson City. You guys are getting ready to put on a really cool production of The Little Mermaid Jr. Yes, we are. We've been working for, um, well, since May on um, this production. We've got um, over 120 students, um, both on stage and off, playing all of the classic Disney characters. Um, it's been a really kind of fun, exciting adventure on this one. We're um, flying in this show to um, kind of give Ariel and her friends the um, swimming effects, um, which is fun. We don't get to do that all the time. Um, and so it's just been a, a really, really fun, uh, fun experience so far. Um, the show runs July 26th through August 4th at uh, the Carson City Community Center. Um, we decided to do Little Mermaid because it's uh, the 30th anniversary of um, Disney's Little Mermaid this year. Um, and Little Mermaid Jr. Uh, is the Broadway version of that movie um, kind of pared down um, for younger cast members. Um, so we have cast members from age three to age 18. All right. Um, in this so, cast. so we've got everybody. Range, lots of opportunities for kids to get involved in in theater through Youth Theater Carson City. You're directing the production. I am. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about what that's been like because you've been involved in in all aspects of theater here in Carson City, mm -hmm. from behind the scenes to being on stage. You were actually in the production of The Little Mermaid that Western Nevada Musical Theater did I was, years I was, ago. I was one of the mermaids. So, <laughs> so now you're sort of seeing the same show from a different angle. Mm -hmm. What's that been like? Um, it's been interesting um, because, I mean, I've been directing uh, and working with Youth Theater Carson City since 2012 um, and teaching at uh, both Carson High School and Carson Middle School. Um, and so every theater experience as a director is very different because you've got a different set of actors to work with. Um, Little Mermaid's been a little bit interesting because you have so much source material to pull from. There's so many different versions of this um, play that have already been done and having been in one myself, um, it was a real challenge to kind of make this one fun and unique um, and not just try to take bits and pieces from everything that's already been done. Um, and so we've, we've worked hard to make our characters really strong and to um, make this production um, kind of stand out from the rest. Adri, you are featured as Ariel in this production, The Little Mermaid herself. Um, what has it been like uh, taking on this role and, and doing some of the cool things that you get to do? Like she mentioned, you guys are, are flying um, and doing some of that. What's What has it been like for you and how has it been different from other shows that you've been in? It has been so great. I was working so hard to achieve my goal and my goal was to get Ariel this year. And I'm so stoked that we're like flying and I think it's going to be so cool. And I'm so excited for everyone to see it. It's going to be so great. So what is your, I guess you both can answer this. What is your favorite scene in the show? What really stands out for you as either it's fun to do or you think the audience is really going to enjoy it? What, what part really is sticking out for you right now? Oh man, there's so many really great moments in this show. Um, we've got um, some really killer leads um, that are just doing a stellar job of um, creating the emotional resonance um, in these these characters. Um, our Mer sisters are super fun and they play off of each other. Um, and so their scenes are really fun. Um, it's just a lot of high energy and a lot of um, really great storytelling that these kids are doing. Um, and so that I, I don't think I can pick a, a strongest point right now. I personally love Poor Unfortunate Souls. Like <laughs> that one's just so fun and entertaining to be in and also watching it it's just i love it poor unfortunate souls people probably remember from the disney movie is when ursula is uh is singing and ursula is such a big and dynamic character so i'm sure that is going to be a real treat for the audience so everybody in this room right now was a theater kid mm -hmm. um and and now we're you're bringing theater to a new generation of kids 
how do you see the students that are involved in this? You know, some of these are really little guys, and and some of them have now grown up with the program. How do you see this as a as a benefit for these kids, and what are they developing by oh, participating? Um, in you doing theater um, as a child, you're learning so much more than just singing and dancing and learning lines. Um, they're learning resilience. They're learning um, responsibility. Um, they're learning public speaking skills and confidence so that they can get up in front of a boss or at a job interview and be successful. Um, it's not necessarily just about um, creating stars. It's giving these, each and every kid gets these, um, these life skills that um, maybe they wouldn't have if they were doing another activity. Absolutely. I mean, a lot, I mean, how many times do you get to like stand up in front of people and, and really have to present yourself? And, and those are skills that you can use everywhere. Getting Absolutely. a job, interacting with, with other people. Um, and the discipline. I mean, I would imagine that you have to work really hard with some of these younger kids to get them to focus through lengthy rehearsals and, and some of the other, you know, late nights of practice. And, and they all have other activities, of course, that they're oh, involved yeah. in too. Um, how much of a challenge is that? And do you think that, do you think that having that resource for them, you know, having the theater as a place to go helps channel that energy a little bit? Um, it's, especially because it's summertime and we're doing it this summer show, um, it's been a little bit more difficult than it usually <laughs> is to get kind of wrangled them in. Um, because they're doing summer activities and um, getting to hang out at home all day or go to the beach or, and then they come to rehearsal and they are expected to sit sit and do their their piece and then sit quietly off to the side and um and so that's hard for a lot of them um but it's amazing to watch some of these kids that come in as um younger elementary school kids and they're kind of running around and have no focus to their energy they're kind of chaotic um but by the second or third show that they're in they've kind of developed that oh i know that i'm at the theater and i know i need to behave this way um, and it, so it gives them an outlet to learn how to channel that energy. Um, and we, re we really encourage them to use that energy on stage. So we ask them to kind of save it up and then um, really explode when they get onto the stage. Very cool. Adri, you um, mentioned that your goal was to get Ariel mm -hmm. this year. You, you knew this show was coming. Talk a little bit about, for kids who, who might be watching and who want to be in your shoes someday, having the starring role, what did you do to prepare for this? How did you get ready for your audition? What is that audition process like? Okay, so flashback to January. <laughs> <laughs> they released that they were going to do The Little Mermaid. And I've been in love with The Little Mermaid since I was little. And I wanted to get Ariel. So I just practiced every single day. I went in every single day at lunch to her classroom, actually, to belt out every note and sing every song from The Little Mermaid, including the Broadway one, the original Disney one, just all of it. And I just told Andy straight up that I wanted to get Ariel and that I wanted to work hard for it. So hard work does pay off in the end and you will always get whatever if you work hard. I think that's an important message for kids. And and you're now living the dream. You're Ariel. You're in the final weeks of preparation. Tech week is coming up. Yes. Oh, yeah. We move into the theater on Monday, next next week. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a very exciting time. That is when you get to see the set for the first time, be in your costumes for the first time. What kind of energy does that add to, to rehearsals and to the performers and, and the people working backstage? Uh, it totally changes the atmosphere. Um, before we start to get into the theater and we get the costumes and um, the props and the scenery, um, everything is very hypothetical. It starts to get real for the kids when they get into their costume. And all of a sudden, they'll start blossoming into their characters. Um, and they'll start um, really feeling like they live in this world um, of the show. And so I'm excited to see that energy start to to come and develop to the show because this is this is going to be a a very high energy um dazzling production um and so i'm excited to see that all come together well this was one of my childhood favorites so i am very much looking forward to it you mentioned it's the 30th anniversary mm -hmm. so we grew up with this show <laughs> okay. um and you know she's saying this was her favorite show as a kid too she's not nearly as old as i am <laughs> um <laughs> So generations now have really enjoyed The Little Mermaid, and it's fantastic that you guys are bringing it to another generation of performers here in Carson City. 
The show is taking place July 26th through August 4th. Tell us where people can go to get tickets. Um, so you can get tickets online at www.youtheatercarsoncity.com. Um, or our cast members are selling tickets and they um, you can actually get a discount on your ticket if you buy from a cast member. Um, we also will sell tickets at the door at the community center on the day of the show. All right, fantastic. So Youth Theater Carson City is the website. Mm -hmm. People can go there and they can check out things like, like show times and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff on the website too. I wanna briefly, this show is already cast, it's happening, it's gonna be fantastic. Um, for people who are watching this and are like, that sounds cool, I wanna be in a show. Uh, what's the next show? And uh, how, do they, how do they find out what they need to do? to be involved. Um, so our next show is Shrek Jr., um, which is based on the, the DreamWorks cartoon. Um, and f for auditions, which are, I, I hope I'm right, I believe they're August 17th, um, they'll be, um, they'll just need to prepare a short song um, and come in and just be ready to play with us and to uh, learn a dance. Um, we do some cold readings, um, things like that. Um, and just be ready to come in and have fun. Um, we take everyone who comes to audition. Um, so there's no pressure of, oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna get in. Um, and so uh, they just need to come and have fun and um, more information is available online on, on our website. All right, fantastic, The Little Mermaid is coming up. Adri, congratulations, we can't wait to see you portray the famous Ariel along with uh, Flounder and Sebastian and all the other <laughs> notable characters. Andy, thanks so much for bringing another production to life here in Carson City and for being such a great role model for this, this group of kids. Oh, we really you so appreciate much. you guys and all the hard work that you've put into this show. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you for having us. And thanks for being here. And thanks to all of you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. Today's show was brought to you by Greenhouse Garden Center in Carson City. If you need plants or landscaping services, Greenhouse Garden Center is the place in Carson City to go for that. If your business would like to sponsor a future edition of It's Your City, please contact Darla at the address shown on your screen. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.